here playing with a couple of Glocks today. Uh, you know, Glocks have been around for, I don't know, 30 something years now at least, and, and they're pretty standard, and uh, you know, most people know what they are. They've used them, they've tried them. They're just like a, like a hammer. Everybody's got a hammer, everybody's got a Glock. But these are two unique versions of it, and these are only available through a distributor called Davisings. And uh, what this is, it's the Cerakote Blue and Gray. It's got a gray Cerakote top on it, a titanium blue uh, frame and grip area on it, uh, black details, uh, controls on it, black sights, standard Glock sights, white outline rear, uh, white dot front. But we got here the models 17 and 19, which are both a chamber for the 9mm. 17 is a little bit larger, about a half inch, both directions, larger than the 19. The 17 comes with three magazines, which is very good for pistols these days. A lot of them just come with one. Uh, most come with two. Uh, this comes with three. Got three magazines. They're good, reliable magazines. They're Glock magazines. Uh, on the model 17 it holds 17 rounds on the model 19 it holds 15 rounds so it gives you a capacity of 16 and 18 respectfully on that um, some things I really like about them they're smooth the Glock's just a gen 4 they've got a little bit better reset than Glock's used to have it's a short trigger travel with a positive reset of course the slide does have cycle leaks down to get this thing ready to fire again I don't have second strike capability a lot of people worry about that I don't if I got a cartridge that don't go off uh, I would rather um, get that cartridge out of there than to keep fooling with it trying to get it to fire again anyway it's a good Glock of course they take down like a Glock they're reliable like a Glock these are made in the USA you know most Glocks for many years made in Austria these new Gen 4's are made in the USA They've got a captured recoil spring system. They've got um, the uh, magazine release on here is reversible. So you can change it from one side of the other. If you want to me, being left-handed, I don't want to change it. I prefer to use a trigger finger to drop that mag. It works great for me. A right-handed shooter might want to change that over where he can use uh, his trigger finger off his right hand to drop that mag. But anyway, they're good, reliable guns. They're only available through Davidson's. Now, to get these guns from Davidson's, you go to galleryofguns.com if you can't find this in your area. Go to galleryofguns.com, click on the Gun Genie, and you will get bids from different dealers in your area competing for your business. Now, doing this, you're not shutting out your local gun dealer like a lot of times you order online because you're buying from your local gun dealer. They're just competing with price for your business, and since they don't have to stock the gun and don't have to uh, type their money in the gun, they're using your money, they receive the gun, and do the transfer there. You usually get a better deal that way, even uh, better than a, a gun that he has on his shelf just like it. So, if you can't find this locally, this uh, uh, blue Cerakote finish, this titanium they call it, on this frame, uh, these are available through Davison's. Go to Gun Genie, check them out. The accessories that come with these new Glocks, these, like I said, are Gen 4. So you've got the interchangeable back straps on here. You've got four come with each gun, three mags, Four interchangeable back straps you can put on here. I like it just the way it is. I wouldn't change a thing, but if you want to put them on there, they're there for you to use. Feels good to me in my hand just like it is. Both 17 and the 19 feel great. 19 got a little less buck sticking out on it. It'll make it a little easier to conceal if you need to. But 17 or 19 either. I like both of them. 9mm. There are some great 9mm ammo on the market these days from a Buffalo Boar, a Double Tap. Uh, other places you can order good ammo from Mid South Shooter Supply from LuckyGunner.com. They've all got good ammo. Hollow point 9mm ammo now is uh, as, as better than it's ever been. You know, even the cheap stuff now is better than the good stuff was 30 years ago. So, give it a try. 9mm is, is a, a good uh, good thing to use. It uh, gives you a lot of shots in a small, lightweight package. We've got the weights in the spec chart, but they're roughly 23 ounces for these pistols. Empty with a empty magazine on them. But the trigger pulls are good. The uh, 17 had a little bit better trigger pull. Then the 19 on these two specimens, about five and three quarter pound on the 17, just barely over seven in the 19. But they're both really smooth and they both smoothed up a little since they've been shot. They feel better than they did when it was brand new right out of the box. Well, check them out, galleryofguns.com.
old Cro Magnum buddy here again. I like this target. It's just very realistic. It's a hard, durable uh, rubber. But anyway, stuff it goes right through it. I heard one hit of steel back there after it went through here, and that's another thing you got to watch for. You know, a lot of people they won't like uh, 18, 20 inches of penetration uh, when they're uh, checking out their ammo. You don't need that much on a human being. The good stuff's in about three inches from the front, and anything over about 12 in flesh. It, you know, you, you're responsible for what it hits back there. Now, if that piece of steel I hit back there had been a human being, it'd be a lot of paperwork and expense on that, I'm sure. But uh, concent these all concentrated really well right here in the thorax region where I want them. You know, a lot of people shoot for the middle of a target. If you do, you're down here where you're going to shoot somebody, but he ain't going to die for a while. He's going to suffer for a while, but he ain't going to die for a while. Put them up here tight where your heart, lung, liver, all that good stuff's up here in the top behind your rib cage. But Little Glocks, as always, they shoot for, uh, plenty accurate for social work. Uh, you know, it's not a match grade weapon, but it don't have to be. It does what needs to be done. They're easy to shoot. They're reliable. They're relatively cheap. I think uh, uh, 729 is the MSRP on this. Of course, they'll go for less than that. You can always find it for less than MSRP. But, you know, that's, that's a lot of gun for the money. And if you want a, a Glock that's a little bit colored than everybody else's Glock at the range, uh, set yours apart a little bit. This uh Blue and gray model here, I call it. Maybe it's commemorative of our great war or whatever. But anyway, it's got a uh, the blue titanium frame and the gray uh, Cerakote top. Uh, looks really well if this is what you like. Just something a little bit different. Available from Gallery of Guns. shooting project buddy seemed like it didn't bother him much nah, he seems to be okay